Okay, this is a clip from Turkey Tom where we are going to make fun of Turkey Tom. Everybody set your 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 <laughs> set yourself up, okay? I don't care if a guy cheats on a girl and I don't know them. I don't care if a girl cheats on a guy and I don't know them. It's not my fucking problem, okay? I have cheated before. I have dated people who have cheated before. It's not my fucking like it's not it's not it's not chat's problem. It's not the world's problem. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? It's like a thing that happens in relationships. This is actually nuts. Wait, Tom cheated? Wait, Tom cheated on someone? Yes. Welcome to being a fucking adult. 70% of every adult you meet will have uh, cheated on someone at some point in their life, okay? Number one, I don't believe that. Number two, brushing aside things like that, but you're saying welcome to being an adult is like number one condescending. You know, I, I don't think this guy's like 20 or 24 yet. You're not an adult until you turn 24. We've established this. So you can't say, oh, I'm 18, and um, I went out and I snorted meth off a homeless man's cock. Welcome to being an adult. Like, you can't do that. You're not an adult yet. You're just an idiot. <laughs> um, so for whatever reason, Turkey Tom is like a huge destiny suck-up now. I don't know what – I don't know why him and Nicholas DiOrio – worship destiny can anybody explain to me worshiping destiny destiny is like one of the most unremarkable people one of the most vanilla fucking milk toast obvious he's like an obvious person he has the most obvious gambit ever he just says shit to make fucking money and for some reason this guy who it let me tell you right now if there was a video of me sitting sad on my computer reading twitch chat while my wife danced with a black man behind me i would my next stream the very next stream would be me taking a gun and blowing my fucking brains out on camera that would be the end of my life and for some reason destiny has endured that and not only continued on but people like nick diario and turkey tom still like pay respect to him as this great of content creator like i don't know as far as i'm concerned the man died that day and his 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 restless body like a zombie has been navigating the wilderness on its own without anybody upstairs to to try and figure things out for it i just don't get it um so the the cope that oh welcome to being an adult that's fucking gay um, the negative influence of being associated with destiny is like obviously seeping in and causing brain rot. If we're being generous and assuming that he's not just retarded. Um, the 70% statistic, I don't believe it. Um, let's do a poll. I mean, this is just my chat, but vote one if you have cheated, vote two if you've not. Okay, a poll's live, and I gave people a little bit of a... Oh, fuck! Did it not go in? I might have broken it. Shit. Let me try typing in the chat real quick, sorry. Have you cheated? Yes? No. Okay, there it is. Okay, now it works. Get your votes on. I'm gonna take a sip. It's prob 50, 50. I don't believe it. Yeah. Only 10% of people in my chat say they have. And that's, that's more, that's more believable to me. Yeah. 120 people have voted so far and it's about 11% of people say they cheated. Uh, which uh, that sounds accurate. Like, I can believe 10% of people. 70%? Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> Come the fuck on. Um, yeah, I don't believe that for a second. The other thing is, the the other part of this is that what he says at the very end. Let me rewind it just a second. 70% of every adult you meet will have uh, cheated on someone at some point in their life, okay? Uh, well, let me... I think I missed it. Wait, Tom cheated on someone? Yes. Welcome to being a fucking adult. 70% of every adult you meet will have uh, cheated on someone at some point in their life, okay? 
Okay, I don't know where he says it. It's 28 seconds. I don't care if I got played it like eight fucking times. He says that he's cheated and he's dated people who have cheated. Now, I will end the poll. It's been going on too long. Um, final result is 19 to 122 or 13.4% have said yes. Here is another pop pop quiz chat. Pop quiz. This uh, not a regular poll. Just sh- blurt out the answer to the question. Chat. What do we call somebody who is with a woman who is cheating on him? Does anyone know the answer to this? This is a write-in answer, so we're not doing a poll. You don't get to vote one or two. You got to say, oh, I think J- is J- J-Man right there? Does J-Man have the answer? There we go. Where is he? There he is. J-Man is the first one I saw who got the answer. Wait, no, no. It's money, cash, money, says it. For a, sorry, J-Man. Your thunder got stolen by the uh, by money. Money got it. First, immediately, right off the bam, got it. That's what it's called. So you might want to be careful stomping around saying, oh, yeah, I, I fucking cheat. And I'm, the women I date also cheat on me. Because that means that you're something. And you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy. Because once you get the C word stuck to you, it doesn't go away. <laughs> you don't ever. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Okay. You know what, chat? I think it's mail time. Oh, YouTube. YouTube is like desperately trying to put the kibosh on this. Hold up. Don't you dare. I can't even open that at all. Like, my VPN is just so completely fucking blocked that I can't even. (laughs) I can't even, like, attempt. Um, what the fuck am I going to do if my VPN is so blocked? I want to play Mel Time. It's Mel Time. Maybe, maybe, no, I want it on, um, <laughs> if I search it's Mel Time, the first result I see is, uh, somebody in the R Destiny subreddit saying, what's Mel Time? <laughs> <laughs> is this it? No. Oh, I I need the actual video. Oh, fuck it. I guess I can't play it's mill time. It's on the Kiwi farm somewhere. It's a little bitch. Yeah, I don't know. Like I I get that he's young and he hit success like really early in his life but the issue the the thing is to summarize because he seems like genuinely baffled like why would anyone care like maybe you can cope and sneed and say well i'm young i'm fit i have money therefore i deserve as much young pussy as i can possibly stick my dick into and if the women i'm dating with have a problem with it that's her fucking problem um, the issue with that, especially when you number, there's two issues with that. So you could just say on its face, the issue is the reason why people really care about sexual impropriety and weird sex stuff, like with the Rakeda stuff, the polyamory stuff, the destiny cuckolding stuff, the, the cheating question in general is that it, it's, it's sort of indicative of your personality if you are willing to enter into agreements and then break them, you're not very trustworthy. And it's like, if you have a, a, a poor character and you can't be relied upon for even things like a relationship, how could you possibly be relied on for anything else? How could you trust that person as a friend? How can you trust that person as a business partner? You might say that's unfair, but people are like that. If you know somebody's a fuck up and they're fucking up other areas of their life, then you can presume that they will fuck up areas of their life that you're involved in as well. And people will make negative judgment assess- assessments about you. Second is, um, there is a, a saying that goes, uh, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And the reason why people say that is because it's true 
And if you treat a woman very poorly and you cheat on her, uh, she will become irate and sadistic and filled with hatred and vengeance. And chances are you're not going to be dating somebody with a high profile. You're going to be dating somebody that you have an advantage over because you have an audience and they don't. So what do they do if you've pissed them off by cheating on them and they want to get back at you? They write a 90-page long Google document calling you a gaslighting cheater, um, rapist, abuser. Like, that's what happens when you're a public figure and the person that you're cheating on is relatively powerless. Um, so if you're from a purely, like, we're, we're going to put aside any arguments for morality in general. From a purely practical standpoint, it causes people to make negative character judgments about you in general, all people. And second, uh, you are setting yourself up for a nightmare situation that you will never, ever recover from, ever. Uh, and if you think that, well, Destiny got away with it, he, Destiny is not as popular as he could be. Uh, he, sure, he's popular. He is absolutely not as popular as he could be if he didn't get cucked in public by Melania. Uh, that's the reality. So, yeah, it's, it's true. He's survived and has continued to stay relatively popular. But uh, every single time he posts anything ever, uh, people post pictures of him looking like he's about to blow his fucking head off while a black man dances with his wife in the background. And that will follow him literally for the rest of his life. Even if he retires from the Internet and tries to become like a CEO of like a Lunchables company, um, people will email him videos of his wife dancing with a black man. So... Uh, <laughs> like you, that's a situation that you want to avoid if you can. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.